Z170 or Z97 chipset? What's the difference? Welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for the electronics freaks. Well, the Skylake CPU released, and with it, the Z170 chipset and socket type LGA1151. There are a number of very important differences from the Z97 chipset to the Z170 chipset. One being the new socket LGA1151 released to accommodate the new CPU architecture. That change means you cannot use the Skylake CPU on the LGA1150 Z97 motherboards. The heatsink mounts continue to be identical from LGA1155, 1156, 1150, and now 1151 sockets. Now the Z170 chipset supports DDR4 memory instead of DDR3. DDR4 is great because it's faster, allows for twice the density, and uses less power than DDR3. Z170 still only supports up to four sticks of RAM, but at dual density you should be able to pack in as much as 64 gigs of RAM. The connection from the CPU to the chipset has been upgraded as well, to DMI 3.0. By using this interface, the chipset is now able to support up to 20 PCIe lanes versus the 8 of the Z97 chipset. Also, the Z170 chipset natively supports PCIe 3.0, and can have up to three X4 M.2 PCIe 3.0 ports for some massively fast storage options. Though M.2 is just getting to be more common on the desktop platform. Both chipsets support 16 USB ports, but now the Z170 increases the number of USB 3.0 ports from 6 to 10. Still no native support for USB 3.1 though. With the Skylake CPU supporting 16 PCIe lanes, along with 20 from the chipset, you get a total of 36 PCIe lanes. This is up from the 24 total lanes of the Z97 generation, that being 16 from the CPU, and 8 from the chipset. All in all, these are some great improvements and make the Z170 a great option for those looking to upgrade if they need the latest and greatest. Please keep in mind, I'm comparing the Z series chipsets because they are the same range for PC hardware. I will not compare the X99 chipset series with the Z170 because the X99 is an extreme PC enthusiast range and cannot be compared with the Z170 chipset. There is a projected release coming out for the extreme enthusiasts next year though. So keep your wallets in check until then, kids. Now don't forget to comment down below on your thoughts on the Z170 chipset. Also hit that like button if you want to see more of these informative review videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.